One minute, everyone in the Kemerova Mall's children's play area appears to be having fun. The next, it's sheer terror, as out of nowhere, fire races through. In just seconds, thick black smoke makes it impossible to breathe. <laughs> mama, mama, we can't get out, screams a child. There were apparently no alarms or announcements. A security guard apparently turned both off. The mall would have been packed with families enjoying the first weekend of spring break. There was a whole class of 11-year-olds, said a friend of one of the victims. They were all in the movie theater. The teacher phoned and said, there's smoke, we can't find anyone. All the doors are closed. Other exit doors were locked and couldn't be broken open. And incredibly, some say security guards blocked escape for others. My daughter and a friend were stopped by guards at two fire escapes, she says. They finally managed to dive through the legs of fire crews coming up the stairs. 11-year-old Sergei Masalenko had gone to the mall with his parents and sister. He crawled out a window and hung on for dear life before his arms gave out. He survived and is in hospital with serious injuries but the rest of his family perished. Other trapped children reached for their phones in their last moments. 13-year-old Maria Moroz texted, We're burning. I love all of you. Perhaps this is goodbye. She died in hospital this morning. Inspectors have already concluded major safety deficiencies are to blame for the horrible loss of life, and it's hard not to compare this tragedy to what happened in the city of Perm nine years ago when 153 people died in a nightclub fire. Investigators concluded officials were paid off to skip safety inspections. Today, critics on Russian TV were blaming corruption for this latest tragedy too. A statement from the Kremlin today made no mention of accountability, just that Vladimir Putin expressed his condolences to the families of the victims. As for what caused the fire, possibly an electrical fault or even someone lighting a piece of foam in the children's play area on fire are two of the leading theories. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow. Now, a moment ago, you heard Chris refer to that nightclub fire in Perm in 2009. Well, there have been several others since, also shining a light on the state of mental health care in that country. Let me show you what I mean. April 2013, a nighttime fire at a psychiatric hospital north of Moscow killed 38 patients. There were bars on the windows, and many of the victims had been on sedatives. Months later, another psychiatric home, another overnight fire, more sedatives. It was also in a wooden building that had failed a fire safety check earlier that year. And in 2015, 23 residents of a care home died, again, in a wooden building flagged as unsafe. Every person who died had physical or mental disabilities. 